Hello everybody, this is Mobslayer991 and welcome back to Satisfactory. Now, I've already logged in roughly uh, 20 hours into this game. I did move my space elevator over there. I got myself uh, one of one is Xeno Basher and a couple extras. I got myself upgraded quite a bit, got level three. Well, that one ain't level three. Now it is. Those are the better ones. I got an alternate recipe, which is uh, steel beams into steel screws, which is really good. They produce a hell of a lot faster. I got steel beams, I got double storage for steel beams and steel pipes. Uh, those forges. And the iron ore that I'm using is uh, coming off of like roughly four or five uh, miners way over in the distance. And the coal is all coming from one pure deposit that's also a Mark II miner. And yeah, there's that over there. I put the uh, space I put the uh, space elevator over there because it's kind of, it's all the way over in the over the void. I built a platform for it. Plus, I was also exploring the void a little bit, see how far I could go. And apparently, the stuff that's over there, even though you can tell it's real trees on the other side of the void, it's uh, a, after a little bit it kills you. It'll start killing you off slowly. So that's over there. Now, one thing I did unlock is hyper tubes, which I played around with a little bit. And yeah, the majority of what I've been doing is upgrading. What else is in here? Ah. More reinforced iron plates that I need to do something with. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. What I've mainly been doing is just uh, upgrading stuff. And this is the one that makes the reinforced iron plates. Actually, I never... I never upgraded this one in storage. Crap. I have to do that later. But yeah, I already made one hyper tube, and that is towards the uh, power. Now, in the last episode, I didn't really get to uh, coal like I thought I would. That, if you remember the little zigzag thing over, over on the uh, down past the line of uh, uh, copper, where that waterfall was. Yeah, turn. Yeah, like I said, it was just full of uranium and unusable. But I did manage to find water and uh, two uh, normal co coal nodes right next to it. Now I'm going to show you that right now. And, and these are all level three. Uh, well, level three, level two as well. And I probably need to drop something off, don't shouldn't I? Sort. Drop off the guts. I'm going to be making more hyper tubes because I need one to go go all the way to the space elevator and one all the way back here. But let's go to the uh, coal power plant that I have going on over here. I just now installed these, like literally minutes before I started this video. I was planning on finishing them, but I decided why not uh, go ahead and show you all before I end up uh, reformatting it a tiny bit. And, I'll, and basically I'll be showing you the reason reason, blah, 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 reason why I'm also on three health. <laughs> it's, it was unexpected, but apparently going downhill with the hyper tubes makes you gain a lot of speed. By the way, if you land in water like that and rapidly press the spacebar, you do not sink all the way to the bottom. Pro tip. Alright. Now this is jungle, so I do... Well, shit. <laughs> but that is jungle area, so it does lag a lot when I look directly at it. 
And I did not mean to get sucked back into the hyper tube, but here we are. <laughs> now, this is all downhill, and I know y'all probably can't hear it too well because this is phone and not recording device on the computer, but I'm gaining a lot of speed, and I have it a you. you I gain enough speed to do this, and I'm gonna die. Take me home. Yeah. <laughs> Suck me. <laughs> oh, you can eat while you're flying through this. That's cool. Yeah, there's another iron deposit over there, I think. It's either iron or copper. I don't remember. But I know it's impure. Alright, let's not get... Let's not get sucked back into that. <laughs> right now. And this is my coal station and water plant. Pretty much. It's a bit of a mess, but this mess is producing a capacity of 97, well, 927 uh, megawatts. So. And after finding out the painful way of the fact that you cannot hop over pipe, pipes of any kind, including the, uh, that one, I and also, it's not recommended to do conveyor belts suspended because splitters don't exactly work well in tight quarters when they're suspended. So I did it like this and it works perfectly. Water pressure is at maximum. The, uh, the two coal nodes are on Mark II, so they should be keeping up rather well. Now at first, when it was just uh, four, about three or four uh, generators, it was kind of a pain in the butt to figure out how the water worked until I figured out that you don't necessarily get that great of water flow unless you force it to have a direction. Like you think you're fine, but you have to have these, the pipeline pumps. You absolutely have to have them working on at least one part of your, of your pipeline or you'll end up with uh, water backing up in the pipes and not going anywhere. With these forcing the water to have a to have a set direction, it'll force it to move along faster and more efficiently. Especially if you need it to get to somewhere in a hurry, like your uh, coal, you know, you get the idea. So I got one, two, three, four water pumps over here that's doing most of the work. I got a fifth one. Wow. Let's see. Let's get all the way over here. I got a fifth one right here that's providing water pressure to the uh, back set of of these, re kind of reinforcing it in a way, so it's not just those four all, all the way over there. Pri uh, adding water pressure. 
I love the way they made the rings to where you can tell where the water pressure is, water is flowing to. But yeah. And then I have the sixth one right here, which is kind of a kind of a helper of sorts, I guess. That's what you call it. Probably not the best way to do it, but I gave it uh, two water buffers right here. Ah, uh, lag spike. This one's actually almost empty. Wow. Why are these empty? What? That's not right. Maybe build another one. Yeah, like I said, it does, it forces the water to have a set direction that you put it at. Now I'm going to have this assist this water Now, as you see, it's attempting to flow down here because there's no backup water pressure to tell it otherwise. That's the one thing about the pumps. Now it's powering up. And now the flow has obviously changed direction. This flow doesn't change direction much because they both are going in a similar way. Because of the other pipe pump that is offering a similar way out. A similar way for the water to go. I love how the water, the only reason why, the main reason why water was implemented into the game like this was so that, for one, so that coal generators weren't overpowered, and number two, to add something new to the game, yet coal generators are, once you figure out how to do this properly, coal generators are still OP. Okay. Now I do need to bring the chainsaw with me one of these days sometime and uh, cut a lot of these trees down so that my frame rate doesn't suffer. Uh, for now it is what it is. Okay, yeah, here's the long line of coal. This is full. That's full. 
and this one's full, and I think that's the last one, yep, and I have these pushing it all in there. Now these are going at 120 parts per minute, as they are. I think these do nothing. I thought they did something at first. I guess not. Ah, uh, why is there an invisible wall behind these? Yeah. They, and these two are supplying all the coal I need for the coal generators. And more than enough, to be honest. And if I really wanted to, I could take... I can use the uh, secondary uh, output and supply that to maybe another uh, steel... another foundry for more steel or something like that. I don't know if you can make friends with these. I know you can kill them and you don't get nothing from them. I don't know if you make friends with them. I did tame one lizard doggo and then it suddenly wasn't tame. Which I remember that once you tame them once, you can always be friends with them, or stuff like that. I don't know. Oh, and I just realized, there's a physical fucking pathway over here to get all the way up there. Yet, my idiot But for the most part, for the first part of this, before I implemented the, uh, well, even before I implemented the, uh, hypertubes, I, uh, I did a, a noob tower with uh, with the uh, eight by one foundations because those are the ones you can just jump on without having a crouch jump. And I did that a lot. And then I did the uh, as you can see with the lookout towers to get up even faster. Now oh, suck me. I don't think I changed it, did I? Oh shit. Yeah, it's this bottom part. You gain so much speed from going so down so fast. Yep, I didn't change it. not really much I can do. I'm just going to do it like that. And that should be good. Now, a lot of these, uh, fa these uh, factory buildings are... Uh, assisted by power slugs turned into power cores and you sir can you please get out of my base that's annoying i don't know why it is but it is i got a chainsaw two other uh, bashers got 30 motors i got one mercer sphere uh two summer sloop cater more copper yeah stuff that i need to put in stuff I got Sam Ore. Don't know what that does. Sulfur. And don't get me wrong, I I used to be really on top of this game, following it on uh, YouTube and whatnot. And the ending for there's it's I think they're the same creators of Subnautica. And I think they're just going to end up doing the same thing like they did in Subnautica. Which is take their sweet time with the ending. 
everyone that's been following Subnautica has been waiting for the ending forever, and they just keep adding new stuff. In this game, they could at least give more for the ending. Because there's obviously, from the way it looks, with the... Uh, with the... Uh, with the way that the voices and everything, there's something evil behind this. There has to be something. But with them not doing anything towards it, that only means that this game is going to eventually be sitting around for 30 years and not go anywhere. Oh, that's an exaggeration. Probably like 10 years of nothing happening to the game. We all know that game. You know what I'm talking about. The game that's been optimized, been in uh, optimization for the past several years, and nothing's ever really been done. We all know that game. And for some people, it's yon yonder a simulator. So. Hopefully it doesn't become that game, where it just sits there with promises of it being finished, yet nothing even happening to make it finished. It's cool that they added new stuff, but I believe an ending is more deserved. It's okay that they add in new stuff, but they still need to keep the in the goal in mind. And don't let it slip up from their grasp. Because it's a really good game. It's really fun. And it's just... They do... They do not need to let it sit for too long. They do that, they'll end up screwing themselves. Because people do lose interest over time. And once people lose interest, then they suddenly don't care about your game no more. power line all the way over there. Because that power line stretches all the way over there. Or how did I do this? I do not remember. <laughs> I did not mean to do that.
I was thinking about maybe uh, making the truck and just making it to where I can just drive here, but nah. Like, you can tell those trees are game trees that you can chainsaw if you could get close enough. But there's a death wall. My next goal is uh, the smart plates, 500 of them. Uh, um, versatile framework, 500 of those, and automated wiring, which is just 100. Which will take a bit to get there, thankfully. I think I made these out of this. here out of the way so I can do other things. I love having the Xeno Basher because it does so much damage. By the way, the spiders in this game are very freaking creepy. pictures of my cat snuggles on my Patreon. I hope I remember to link it in the description this time. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have uh, two tiers currently. One is uh, the basic one. It's, it's pretty basic. It's only $10 a month for holes uh, and stuff. It's not that big right now, but I'm hoping I can get get it bigger. The uh, other tier is solely for cat pictures, and that's like three bucks a month. Uh, she's actually as old, almost as old as I am. She is a pretty old kitty. Still spoiled though. <laughs> 
We love her. She's not exactly what you, you would call playful because of her age. It actually kind of puts her in a lot of pain to play, try to play around. So she doesn't exactly play like she used to. But she's still cute. And that's what matters. And basically my Patreon right now, my only goal on there is to uh, build up enough money from the from uh, people signing up and doing the monthly thing so that I can eventually afford to get a better computer ba built so that I can use the uh, proper recording devices well, a proper recording thing that can actually work well instead of well, because my laptop likes to reject anything I try to use that isn't my phone well, it's not exactly reject. It's more like it will refuse to it will refuse to work at all costs. And it's a pain in the ass. So, once I'm hoping to get to raise up enough money to using it to get a better rig and be able to uh, give you better content. Plus the money could actually help with uh, a lot of things that I'm having to pay for currently which is uh, car repair bills because I had to put it, I had to have it in the shop for a little bit and it has to go back into the shop later so that the AC can get fixed. So, it's not just for a brand, a newer computer. And here we are. But yeah, that's basically what my Patreon is for right now. Is for a newer computer and for bills. To at least help out a little bit. And I'm out of freaking foundation. At least I would build this. Um. Power poles also require that. And I need to link power poles all the way over here.
going to have to carefully place that in my uh, hand inventory or it'll uh, start being a little fuck it. Because somehow you can't just shift click it into uh, the stack that's already in your hands. You have to uh, manually do it or else it'll just replace the one that you don't want replaced and it's annoying. Um, I might, I think I have enough cable. Doink. Boink. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I love the hell out of this game. Like I said, I've been waiting on this wait. I've been following this game forever, and I may have lost a little bit of track due to uh, YouTube deciding that I shouldn't watch it for some reason. However, it's still pretty fun. And since it finally came out on Steam, I decided to get it. Plus, it was on sale. So, yeah. Here we are. The creepy thing about though is that it's so quiet. Now let's go ahead and get this connected. Luckily, the uh, hyper tubes don't really use that much power. It's only like 10 watts. So that's roughly 40 watts in total from all four of these uh, tubes. And it only counts the entrance and nothing else. I wish they uh, had like a separate where you can make it like a backup battery and link it to. To, uh, devices that you want them hooked up to because if you could have a backup battery and let's say my power supply screws up somehow then I could just uh, quickly hyper tube over to my coal generators using the uh, backup battery connected to it and be able to get there in a hurry to get it fixed sure I didn't why I didn't do that thing but oh well oh, 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 oh. I was too fucking close I forgot that gap was there <laughs> whoops <laughs> that would have ended terribly oh heart attack anyone <laughs>
Yeah, eventually I'll get that power slug on the uh, thingamabob over there. But for now, that green green slug will stay protected. Let's test it out. Suck me. I do have reason to believe that waterfall is also pretty real too. However, you can't get over there because you'll die unless you had like cheats on. But still, oh well. One thing I do love, however, is that this game is very well optimized. I probably should have Let's Game It Out to thank for that one. But it's extremely optimized, works very well with this laptop, which is surprising. Not even uh, Seven Days to Die can run th this well. And that thing looks like freaking potatoes. <laughs> this still has smooth lines in the game at the lowest settings, and it runs better has more moving parts and it runs better. It doesn't crash the instant you turn something on. going to. Right here. that running again. Basically this will transport its inventory to this while the other thing is also emptying out. Or producing stuff still. Which this assembler is still pretty slow. It's only at 12.5 parts per second or per minute. This will take a little bit to uh, empty out, but when it does, I'll be able to just deconstruct it and have it on that solely. Uh, 
I'm hoping that the one of the next tiers that I in, that I'll unlock in the thing over here. Let me go look actually, if I can. I don't think I get sneak peeks, but if I can, nope, you you cannot get sneak peeks. I already got all these milestones. So I do have to work towards the space elevator thing. Alright. That's still using the, uh, this. Which is making iron rods. And it doesn't need to be replaced. Some of these storages don't necessarily need to be replaced, but some do. Fuck. Eventually, I'll be uh, scrapping this entire factory and uh, moving it. And then, and basically making the base here be uh, for uh, storage. Like, only storage. And then I can have hyper tubes going all the way to bit, all the way to the factories. Now, one thing I could do, one thing I really could do, it's right here, is, uh... Uh, what is it? What was I thinking? Uh... I don't remember. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Holy shit. This is mainly coming from the screws that are being built way over there. I might want to see screw... I might want to stop making screws using rods. Because they're very inefficient. What's the other thing that requires screws? What's this? Oh yeah, that's the rotors. Which requires screws, and that's where the majority of the screws are going. What is this requiring? This requires reinforced plates, and that's making modular frames. I know there was something else that required screws. Where is it? This is making screws. This is creating my reinforced iron plates, and that damn thing is slow as hell, so having it like this is still pretty good. It's still good for it. Is there anything else that is using screws that I can reroute some screws to? I don't think there is currently. Well, screw me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Things I need to focus on. I need to make you. I need to utilize the rotors I do have into smart plates. That's the first thing I need to make. 
production assembler. There it is. Okay, reinforce iron plates. Hmm. All right. All right. That's the wonderful thing about this. I just gotta get it over here. Stick it around here. power. I'll worry about that in one moment. I just need to get industrial storage down. Now you need power. I'm going to make a separate power pole. And voila. Let's go dump my rotors and plates in so it's already stocked up. Now this thing's going to be slow as hell, but it'll be alright. For now. Ah. Yeah, this factory honestly looks like garbage, but it's alright. It's my garbage. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> running along on rods. Where's your rod maker? Right here. is making rods. You're making rods. But not many. What else is making rods? I need rods. Uh, rods! Big rods! Where are you? See! Problem is, you're kind of full. I'm going to have to use a splitter. Really don't know why splitters are not in the organization section, but okay. Uh, where was I going with this again? Oh, right. Doink. And there we go. That'll do it.
Now they should be full up on those, so it's not lagging behind anymore. I do kind of need a hunt for power slugs, so I might do that, actually. I mean, there's one right there, but I'll die before I get it. At least I think. I don't know if I'll die, but I'm not going to risk it right now. Alright, um... You know what? Why not? Uh... Enough money. Let's uh, go back to the area where the radiation was. I'm going to go out of slug hunting. I'm hoping I can find a yellow slug, or even a purple slug, so I can finish re research. Yeah, I know you're out of range. This is all still Mark 1 here, and I'm leaving it that way because it doesn't really need to be any higher. No, I'm not going to bother replacing this with it, with anything new yet. I might later, just not right now. It's somewhere that way. I can survive going through that, I just need a lot of food. Or I can try to get around it. Wish you can plant berries and nuts. Oh, you're a bastard. It's right in the center. It's a green slug, though. So the question is, is it even worth it? been this way yet, aside from that over there, but I haven't been like up here this way. That's what it is, okay. Okay. I'm glad I didn't try to do that for nothing because it's right over here.
Well, sometimes these edge ones, I ha, how to got rammed right off. Usually the edge ones are guarded by those, and they'll just knock you right off. It's only a green. No, I'll pick it up anyway. Seems to detect one over there. It might be the one that's surrounded by gas. Or it could be one that could possibly be up there. Not gonna worry about it though. Seems to detect one over here. and then that's in the gas. Um, I don't think I explored much over here. There's more gas down there. Let's go down there. Don't really have much else to do other than let stuff build up so that I can continue building. See it out of the corner of my eye over there. Ah, another cave. If you're afraid of spiders, please don't look. These things are actually very creepy. And a mercer spear.
Work in progress. There's more to the story, but they haven't developed it yet. Back to the task at hand, shall we? <laughs> yeah, I know. There is a legit lane, but I could also noob tower up to it. And yeah, that works too, to be honest. I don't remember what these are supposed to be, but I know they're indestructible. You can't blow them up with dynamite. Or explosives in general. 
Ah, uh, you have to go through it? That's some bull. I mean, I could just pull up to it and be done. The stronger ones down there. Those are weaker compared to that one. I don't remember the uh, full story behind the immersive sphere and all that stuff. But I know it is pretty interesting. Oh, it is a yellow slug. Awesome. So that's two power, three power cores total. I... Yeah, because I have a green one on me, and the yellows, when you uh, craft them in the power cores, you get two of them out of it. All right, I'm gonna continue exploring a little bit. There's another one over here. Oh, it's a purple! Now I can research you. There's another one that way.
Honestly, I probably shouldn't be exploring out this far. What do those do? Nothing. They do nothing. Okay, good. Oh shit. Wait, now we run. It's still after us. Should have despawned by now. Below ground. Are you kidding me? Nice, right, screw. Let's head back. I'm not going to try and get it and then end up getting killed. Because this is a really long walk back.
I also pick up this bacon agaric agar as much of it as I can. Because it's the best food source you can come across. As far as I... As far as I can tell. There's something else over here. I think it's up. about it. It's about time I got back. Thankfully, your character is a freaking marathon runner because he never runs out of stamina. Which I'm not complaining about. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> uh, and now we're back. After that pain in the ash journey. in there, that in there, that in there. Got one of each slug. <laughs> Eventually I'm gonna put, make it to where I can automate the, uh, thing him up up some or another the uh, biofuel so that I can get uh, automatically get a, uh, a solid biofuel yeah snaders huh. that's what all those, those cost okay turn that slug into that and then turn that slug into that Awesome. And you can also uh, automate. Oh, I moved it, I remember. Where the fuck did I move it? Right here. And cables. Big cheese. Which and 
with being able to... The fact that you can automate power slugs is kind of dumb. Because uh, power slugs, you can't exactly mine them out of the ground. Oh, purples give you five. Wow. Alright. So, I have three power cores, or power shards as I call them. I just kept calling them power cores. I do have the awesome shop. I haven't used it yet. I don't have the dispensary running yet. I plan on it eventually. Oh, there is wall attachments. And power. Ooh. Man, that'd have been useful. Vehicles, there's only one vehicle available, and that's the factory cart, which is pretty cool. <laughs> no cute little thing. We got statues, too. The golden nut. There's a duggle. Silver hog and a confusing creature. Equipment. Beacons. You can just buy packs of beacons and then you get a coffee cup. And then you can also buy parts from here too. Which is very useful to be honest. You can even... And it expands with you, so... I believe, anyway. So I could technically cheat with this if I really wanted to. I just need tickets. <laughs> That's a new thing that they implemented in, into the game and it's pretty cool. What was I doing? Power shirts. <laughs> I completely lost train of thought. <laughs> I'm gonna put that at 45 in a minute. doesn't have enough nails? Where's all the nails? Number one, let's... They're not getting enough. Right, they all went here for this. And then I split them off as well for this. Which is turning into that. I should be making them faster.
You can probably see what I'm trying to do. <laughs> your ladder. It's on this side. That's where it is. Wait, I shouldn't say that word. It's supposed to actually that that is a really bad word, but still don't care. Yeah, I miss Guinea. Why? That's dumb. Now let's shape my left nut. Fuck it, get in me. What the fuck? Oh. 
Uh, okay, <laughs> I didn't know those were in the game. Now, I'm going to do it on this side. Is not invalid. How is that invalid? Screw you. You're invalid. Y'all are valid. The game's logic is invalid, however. Watch. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to make it work right here. That's all I want. This is so difficult. Either that or I'm making it difficult. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Uh, I just realized what I could do instead. As you know, I'm stupid. I I don't know why I didn't realize this. Never mind. That's why. What? That works? Can I not have the goddamn wire in my way?
just when you think you have got it. Just when you think you got it. Wait, 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 wait. Yes! Yes! That was about to drive me insane. Wow. I did it. <laughs> the thing that I spent 30 minutes struggling on. I did it. <laughs> uh, don't you love it when you have struggles like this? Not really. Makes you want to do things. Like paint to the picture. Yeah, yeah, totally. Alright. Well, that now has all the screws it needs in supply. I'm gonna make a secondary screw maker. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> Since it's also gonna be making screws out of the same material. So I don't have you have to use splitters and combiners. Steel screw. Just so I can have uh, over a hundred screws, well, not over a hundred. It's like over 400 screws per minute. Yeah, that's over 400 screws per minute. Like 500 some odd. 520 screws, I believe. Or more, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. And, uh, why, and uh, watching me struggle, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you all guys in the next video. Bye-bye.